South China Morning Post, 29th of September 2022, in new movies, the Chinese Navy shows off its growing fleet of high-tech weapons to threaten neighboring countries. China's plan to wait until its economy was more robust before taking on the rest of the world is over. China is preparing to be a world power in the next giant bigger than the US. Thursday was the first time the Chinese Navy showed video of its most potent nuclear-powered submarines, the Type 094A ballistic missile submarine and the Type 093 attack submarine. The ships were shown in a training film for the Liaoning, China's first combat-ready aircraft carrier. It's the first time CCTV has shown film of the Type 094A, also known as the Long March 18, since it went into service on April 23 last year as part of celebrations for the People's Liberation Army Navy's 72nd anniversary. The Type 094A can fire the ballistic missile JL-3 or Geelong, Big Wave, which has a range of more than 10,000 kilometers, 6,200 miles, and could hit the U.S. mainland. The Type 094A is one of three high-tech warships that went into service on the day Chinese President Xi Jinping presided over a ceremony to mark their start. The Type 075 amphibious helicopter attack ship and the Type 055 Ranai class guided missile cruiser were the other two. The CCTV film showed Zhang Xiaopeng, the captain of the Long March 18 submarine, had been in the Navy for 25 years and helped build it. In a different video that the Navy posted on Wednesday, a flotilla led by the Liaoning showed how joint operations work. Earlier CCTV accounts said that PLA pilots who had flown older fighter jets were being asked to help fly drones. In the video, several fighter jets from the Liaoning were sent into the air to act out dogfights and movers used when they meet up with hostile foreign planes. It's like, I repeated verbal warnings and started to get rid of, the simulated foreign aircraft, when I saw my counterpart sending me hostile signals, said PLA pilot Song Guangjin, who took part in the drill. He also said that he flew less than 100 meters from the rival aircraft to tell it to leave. The training, is meant to show that we are now ready to deal with foreign aircraft that try to cause trouble on the high seas. In the video, when the J-15 pilots met their simulated peers, they were heard speaking English. CCTV showed a video at the beginning of the week that showed two J-15 pilots taking off at sea to warn away what they thought was a US-guided missile cruiser. A captain on the Liaoning, Lu Kuiang Kiang, said that the vast platform was like the body of a person and that the J-15s were like the fists. He said that the carrier had been able to work with other warships on early warning surveillance, air defense, anti-missile, and anti-submarine operations as part of joint tasks. We've built a joint operation combat system, which is a big step in moving from protecting water near land to protecting the open sea, Lu said. The Liaoning was accompanied by the country's biggest and most advanced guided missile destroyer, the Type 055 Stealth, as well as frigates and a nuclear-powered attack submarine, among other ships, according to the video footage. The movie also showed how the newest Type 093 attack submarine can hide from enemy warships and planes. This is called stealth. Lu Lishi, a former naval instructor at a Taiwanese naval academy in Kaohsiung, said that the videos and CCTV reports were a show of political propaganda before the 20th Party Congress. At the 20th Party Congress, Xi, who also chairs the all-powerful Central Military Commission, is widely expected to win an unprecedented third term. Lu said weapon demonstrations always have political significance because they help set the tone for significant political events like the Party Congress. All of Xi's strategic weapons, especially aircraft carriers and submarines, get good grades on a report card of his accomplishments over the past 10 years. These things are being made to scare China's neighbors and drive them to obey.